welcome back to Agnabag week two. This week we will be reading Dirt, the Scoop on Soil, written by Natalie M. Rosinski, illustrated by Cherie Boyd. What is dirt made of? Dig deep, unearth some dirt, hold it in your hand. Fun fact, dirt covers almost every place on earth. Sometimes you can't see the dirt because it's covered by grass, buildings, roads, or water. Dirt is a mix of different parts of nature. Crumbling rocks make up dirt. Wriggling worms and scurrying bugs live in dirt. Rotting plants and bones are part of dirt too. Soil is just another word for dirt. Put some soil into a big glass jar and fill it with water. Stir and wait. The soil will separate into layers. Humus, clay, silt, sand, rocks and pebbles. Rocks and pebbles fall to the bottom because they're the heaviest. A lot of soil is made of rocks. Fun fact, dirt is so interesting that soil scientists study it every day. Sand, silt, and clay are all tiny pieces of rock that make up soil. The layer on top of the rocks and pebbles is sand. Use a magnifying glass to see the rainbow colors hidden in sand. Each gra grain has its own color, black, tan, gray, red, green, or purple. Grains of sand don't fit closely together. Water runs quickly through the spaces between them. That's why sand is so dry and why sand castles crumble so fast when waves wash over them. Silt is like sand, only silt's grains are smaller. Grains of silt fit more closely together and hold more water. Silt makes up the layer on top of the sand. Soft, sticky clay has even smaller grain, grains than silt. You need a microscope to see the grains of clay. Clay is almost like powder. Clay is what made the water in your jar turn cloudy. Fun fact, clay can be red, yellow, white, tan, gray, black, or blue. People use clay to mold beautiful plates and bowls. You might see flecks floating on top of the cloudy water. That's the dark and gooey part of the soil called humus. Humus is made from rotting plants, leaves, wood, and animal matter. Sticky humus helps hold the rocky parts of the soil together. Humus is rich with food that plants need to grow green and tall. Fun fact, soil is different in different places. Garden soil is soft and clumpy. It is a good mix of humus, sand, silt, and clay. Forest soil is often damp, full of humus with dead leaves. Soil in a muddy riverbed is soft with silt. Desert soil is sandy and dry. It's alive! There are millions of creatures that live in soil. Beetles, sow bugs, millipedes, and worms wriggle and crawl through the dirt. Other creatures are so small that you can't see them. These soil creatures are called decomposers. Decomposers make humus. They eat dead plants and then leave droppings. The droppings are like vitamins for the plants that grow in the soil. Fun fact! As plants grow in soil, they use up the food in humus. Decomposers put more food back into the humus. Animals can make soil better for plants in another way. Squiggling worms, trailing snails, slithering snakes, and burrowing rabbits loosen the soil as they crawl through it. They make holes in the soil that let air and water reach the roots of thirsty plants. Fun fact, after it rains, you can see worms wriggling along the ground. The rainwater has filled up the empty spaces in the soil. The worms have to crawl out to find air to breathe. Keeping dirt healthy. Humus, water, and air are usually found in the upper layers of soil. This layer of soil is called topsoil. It is the best soil for planting. The roots of plants hold topsoil together. Plants and trees cover topsoil so it won't get blown away by the wind or carried off by the rain. The loss of topsoil is called erosion. When topsoil erodes, plants have no place to grow. Fun fact, when plants use up the food in topsoil,
people can replace some of the food by adding manure or chemicals. Depending on dirt. Dirt keeps us alive. Without dirt, plants cannot grow. Without plants, animals cannot eat. Without plants and animals, people would have no food. Dig into dirt, pile it up, and stomp it down. Let it squish between your toes, let it sift between your fingers. As you walk along, remember all of those incredible bits of nature holding you up. Thank you.